Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing some new season arrivals that are so many gorgeous new clothes arriving for spring. I have me doing a little bit of shopping, so I'm gonna share with you what I got. I'm also gonna be doing a reveal of my new Celine Triumph bag, doing a quick little comparison of the sizes in case any of you were deciding between the two like I was. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this beautiful lady jacket and I feel like of all the trends that have come out over the past few years, this has got to be my favorite just in terms of how beautiful, how timeless, how elegant it is and how easy it is to incorporate into my daily outfits and just give all my looks just that instant lift and I am the biggest fan and I saw this and I thought it was so, so beautiful. It's this stunning baby blue shade. I always love my light blue colors and I thought this was so Stunning. So the detailing on it is just gorgeous. You have that beautiful blue and white tweed right there And then you have this gorgeous braided detail all the way around the collar You do have these little pockets on the side as well And then you have these stunning kind of like a crosshatch weave um, gold button effect I will try and do a close-up, but I just thought these were so beautiful It's fully lined and absolutely stunning quality like it just feels so substantial as soon as you put it on it just feels amazing on as well I would say that it probably runs true to size I feel like I could have maybe sized down but I think this size works too um but I just love it like the fit is perfect it's not too boxy but at the same time it's not super form fitting like it's just right and I am over the moon happy with this. I can't wait to incorporate it into all the spring ready outfits and I just think it's stunning. This gorgeous jacket is from Goelia who are nice enough to partner with me on this video. Their new collection is absolutely stunning and I do have quite a few pieces from them in today's video. So I will make sure to link everything in the description section if you did want to check anything out. I will also pop in my sizes for reference as well. They were also nice enough to do a discount code that gets you 10% off, but the 10% off works on top of other promos that they're running. So it's an amazing amazing deal I will make sure to list all the details and the codes in the description section if you did want to check those out I also quickly wanted to mention one of my wardrobe favorites because this has been such a firm favorite for me ever since I got it If you're looking for the quintessential striped cardigan, this is it. It is so beautiful It goes with everything it instantly elevates your look It's wonderful quality as well I have washed and worn this countless times and it still looks as good as new you have these beautiful gold button details and I just love it. It goes with absolutely everything and this one is currently in stock and it does work with a promo code. Just one of my favorite order at pieces. I would highly recommend if you were after this kind of striped look. And then I have this other little jacket and I just love this. It's a beautiful camel color and the detailing on it is so lovely. So you have this kind of little gold hardware detailing on the sleeves and it carries right through to the collar and all the way down as well. The buttons are almost like a copper bronze. So they have almost like a hint of rose gold. Really, really pretty. It goes beautifully with the overall color scheme. You have this pocket effect on the front. It's not a proper pocket, so it is just for show. It is fully lined again and the lining is so silky soft like it just feels like a dream when you wear it and I thought this was so chic and elegant I love the fact that it does have that collarless look so it just sits really nicely on your collarbone and I am just never gonna get tired of this trend it's so great for teaming with denim to dress up a simple pair of jeans but I also feel like it looks really good with you know a smart pair of trousers you can do a skirt with it a dress like they are so versatile and I just absolutely love this one. Love the colorway, so classic and just so, so beautiful. So as you may have gathered, I am a huge, huge fan of a good striped sweater and I saw this one and I just thought it was adorable. It is super fluffy and it's so incredibly soft. I just want to snuggle up in like a whole blanket made out of this fabric. But I thought this was adorable. So this one is a little bit more of a boxy fit. So it cinches in a little bit at the waist and then you have this beautiful button detail. So this is the same uh, like cross stitch pattern as my previous jacket, but I love it. It is the prettiest button I think I've ever seen. You have a nice flat collar as well and then you have that beautiful very simple just bold contrast of the black stripe against the white background and it's just so furry and gorgeous like it feels so nice on your skin 
And I just thought this was adorable, especially for a little bit of texture to add to your outfits. You know, it is getting a little bit warmer and I thought this would be so cute with a simple pair of jeans, a simple pair of flats or heels, cute little bag and just like the nicest little outfit, which is still quite practical, but is super chic as well. And then speaking of gorgeous stripes, I saw this beautiful knit top. And even though this is technically knitwear, you don't really get any warmth with this. It's much more of a kind of regular top type thickness. So, you know, if it is cold where you are, you're still gonna need to like layer a jacket or something like that. But when the weather does get warmer or flaring, I thought this was beautiful. It's a very slim knit one, um, so it is quite close fitting. And then you have a beautiful navy stripe against white, this gorgeous neckline, which I think is so elegantly done these beautiful gold buttons I always feel like they do their buttons so well and I thought this was so nice um, I'm planning on probably just teaming this with a nice pair of jeans but I love it it feels very very classic to me very nice fitting very comfortable as well the fabric is very very soft I always just think there is something so classic about a good stripe I feel like the stripe pieces on my wardrobe just last and last I love them and they just never seem to date for me and I just thought this one was just such a beautiful iteration, especially with those gorgeous gold buttons. And now for a stunning little blazer, and actually this one isn't so little because it does have a little bit more of an oversized fit, but I don't feel like it's anything too dramatic. I think that it's so difficult to get an oversized blazer right because so many I see are just so big that they end up drowning you, and I just don't personally like that look on me. Whereas this one, I feel like it just strikes the right balance between being on trend with that slightly more oversized look without being so huge that you do feel like it's drowning you. And I just love it. Um, it's more of like a golden beige color, so it's not quite a camel, it's a little bit lighter than that. Very neutral though, very easy to team, and a nice lighter color for now that the weather is getting a little bit warmer and brighter. Again, a fully lined, so beautiful, beautiful fabric. And you have that gold button detail right there. And then you do have pockets on both sides as well. It is a fairly long one, so this definitely isn't a crop style at all. I'm planning on rolling my sleeves up like I do with most of my blazers, but you can obviously wear them down as well. And I just thought this was so chic, a really beautiful staple, a little bit lighter as well, so it's not gonna weigh you down when it does get a bit warmer. And I just love this, the perfect colorway and so simple and chic to wear. Next up, I wanted to share my new Celine Triumph bag. I got this actually just before I went away, but I didn't have time to film a video on it, so I thought I'd share it now. Um, I did end up ordering both sizes. So this is the teen size, which I ended up keeping, but I did also order the next size up, just for comparison. And to be honest, when I ordered them, I was almost convinced that I was going to keep the next size up. I thought the teen size was just going to be too small for me, too impractical, um, and when I got them, the small size was quite a bit bigger than I was expecting, even though it's not a huge style. Um, it just felt a little bit boxy with the outfits that I teamed it with. Obviously, it's a boxy style, um, but I was pleasantly surprised by the teen size, and it is quite small, um, but when people described it to me, I got the impression that you could barely fit your phone inside, and that's not the case. Like, you can fit in your phone comfortably, or at least I can fit in my phone comfortably, as well as quite a few other items, which kind of was what I was looking for. You know, I didn't need or want a super huge bag, so I can definitely fit in my essentials in here. And I thought this would be a little bit more practical for me in terms of the outfits that I wanted to wear with it. So I ultimately went for the teen size. However, I did do a comparison. So I will kind of share that um, just for anyone who might be interested, who might also try to be making the same decision. I am five foot seven for reference, if that makes a difference. Um, but to be honest, I don't really feel like you can go wrong with either. Like I think they are both absolutely stunning. That was definitely a source of concern. I did ask on Instagram if anyone had any kind of thoughts or experiences of the leather. And so many of you were nice enough to respond with photos as well in some cases. And everyone's bags I saw just looked unbelievably good despite apparently a lot of wear. So it's definitely given me a lot of confidence. Um, I still think I'm probably gonna be a little bit careful with it to begin with, but I'm excited about it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I do hope it's more durable than it feels because it does feel like very, very shiny leather. Um, but I just think it's the most stunning bag. I love how simple it is. No bells or whistles. So there's no like pocket on the back or anything like that. It opens up just by squeezing these side little bits here and then lifting up the flap. It does take a second though for me to get used to it. It's a different class than what I'm used to. Um, you do have that kind of semi accordion style right there. There's not a whole lot of give because it's so structured, um, but as I said, you can 
fit a fair amount for such a small style and um, obviously the next size up does fit quite a bit more and if you were looking for an everyday bag I can see how that might be ideal because it is quite substantial and um, for me though I think this is going to work you do have that pocket right there on the back which is just a zip up one you have a slip pocket in the back as well as well as another slip pocket in the front and yeah, I am just very, very excited about this bag. So I'm happy to do an update if anyone is interested in it once I start to use it a bit more. Um, it does have a nice adjustable strap as well and I just think it's gorgeous. So any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I am super, super thrilled with it. Next up is this adorable little twin set. So this is a two piece. So it comes with this fantastic little tank top and then you also get this beautiful short cardigan as well. I thought this was beautiful. I'm a huge, huge fan of this new like contrast trend. Again, I feel like it's very Chanel-esque and just so classic and timeless and easy to wear as well. Like I don't really have time for trends which are really difficult to pull off. I just don't have that much time to put into my outfits. Whereas this, I just feel like it's always gonna look so classic and elegant and I'm just a huge, huge fan. Um, this one is quite stretchy as well. So you do have a lot of give with it. You have this beautiful button detail. So the buttons have this gorgeous little pearl flower design. So, so elegant and lovely. You have this kind of um, faux pocket detail right there on the front. And then this little tank top just sits below it. You can, of course, wear these separately if you want to, but I think they look beautiful together. This one is a little bit cropped. Um, so it does sit a lot shorter than the cardigan. So if you did want to tuck it in, you're not going to get a ton of excess material which is always very very helpful and I just love this I think it's so elegant and just the chicest little twin set next up is this beautiful dress and I actually already own this in the blue and white I wore it to Barbados and it was one of my favorite dresses because of how easy it was to throw on it was incredibly comfortable it was really long and flowy and I just loved it so when I saw that they released it in a new color I jumped on it I think it is the most stunning design and again just so easy to wear which is always a huge huge bonus for me um it does have a kind of um like halter neck tie effect which you can tie on the back there it cinches it at the waist and then it just kind of flows down it is a tiered skirt and then you do have quite a big skirt actually so it does feel like quite a lot of volume but because the fabric is so light it doesn't feel too heavy and it was very very warm in Barbados I think it was 33 degrees at most days so I definitely didn't want anything that was going to weigh me down whereas this was absolutely perfect this print is also gorgeous so it's a black background with a kind of golden brown beige look like it's a really really nice print it's got kind of that abstract print effect to it and I just think this is gorgeous, huge fan of my blue and white one, and I will happily own this in every color. It is just the best and most flattering dress. Next up is this beautiful black skirt, and this may not seem that exciting on the surface, but I feel like the little details that they've added to it really have made a difference, and I just love it. So on the top, it just kind of seems like a regular midi skirt, but then on the bottom, they have this kind of semi-sheer mesh effect with this beautiful embroidery all the way through, and then it flares down with this gorgeous embroidered effect on more of like a matte cotton. It is so, so beautiful. I absolutely fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I know I always get a lot of use out of my really simple, neutral basics for spring, summer. And I thought this was perfect, really easy to dress up or down. I feel like you could wear this with a simple tank and some sandals and it'd just be the nicest, easiest, chicest, warm weather outfit. But if you wanted to wear it full on dressed up for a date night, I think it would look fantastic as well and I just love this very comfortable and I just love the little added details I feel like it really helps elevate it and I just think it's gorgeous and now for a polka dot dress and if you followed me for a while you'll probably know I like my polka dots I just don't feel like it's a print that gets old and for me I just think it's the most elegant ladylike print and I just love it and I saw this dress and it was just an instant add to basket I was like yep and that's coming home with me I just absolutely adore it uh, so it's a puff sleeve design and um, it does have ruching around the bust there it does have a bit of elastic around the back as well so you can get a really nice close fit fitted around the kind of just below the bust area and then it flares out into this beautiful skirt with this side slit as well so you do show a little bit of leg it is a fully lined so it actually does feel quite substantial for what is essentially a spring summer dress and the print is a kind of 
off-white cream colour on a black base, so about as classic as you can get. I love the fact you have a little puff sleeve detail, but it isn't too over the top. I find that even though in theory I like a lot of exaggerated puff sleeves, when it comes to actually wearing them, I just don't get that much use out of them, so if I do want to do a kind of bigger sleeve, I still want it to be quite wearable. I feel like this ticks the box perfectly. And I just absolutely love this, right at my street, very, very flattering in terms of the fit and cut as well, and I just absolutely love it. And then I do have this great little bodysuit, which is coming up super bright, so I will do a quick cutaway, but I actually got this one in both the white and the black. I just really, really loved the neckline. I think it's really stunning with that kind of wide, big, open neck. I mean, after some new bodysuits, I feel like so many of the ones I had pre-Leo just don't seem to fit in the same way anymore, so I've been after some updated ones, and I thought this was perfect, and it is so gorgeous, not only in the slightly more unusual neckline, but also in the ruching as well, so it is crazy, crazy flattering. It's so good with a pair of jeans. Also really lovely with a nice skirt. And it's pretty much just exactly what I wanted. I believe this comes in quite a few colors. Um, as I mentioned, I went for both the black and the white just to kind of cover my very, very neutral basics. I just think this is so lovely. The fit is really great as well. And I love the slightly more unusual neckline. So that wraps up this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.